Marshall may be known for their impressive guitar amps, but here they're looking for something a little bit smaller. Towards the tail end of 2017, Marshall released a whole new line of Wi-Fi multi-ring speakers, and we're going to check them out. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider. Now Marshall does technically have three different models of their multi-room speakers. They have the Acton, which is the tiniest of the three. They have the Stanmore, which fits squarely in the middle. And then on the high end, they have the Woburn. We've got those middle two options, the Stanmore and the Acton, to check out today, see how they sound, and how they work in a multi-room configuration. Just like their Bluetooth counterparts, these speakers are all about quality. They've got that robust, heavy exterior that really mimics the classic amp design. Along the top, there's a lot of little metal pieces that you can use to customize the sound and control the different inputs. I really do love all the metal accents that really just make this feel more premium than the lesser quality speakers that a lot of people pick up. On the far left hand side, you still have a manual input. So there is that auxiliary input. There is a toggle to go from single to multi-room. There are then four different knobs. The first three allow you to really kind of customize your sound, including the volume, the bass, and of course the treble. That last knob has a few other tricks up its sleeve and it works a little bit different than the others. Instead of having a nice smooth rotation, it actually has little notches that it clicks between and you can press it down to actually lock in your selection. Of course, you can jump between Wi-Fi there, which works with AirPlay and Chromecast, or you can jump to Bluetooth, RCA, Auxiliary, or any of the seven presets. And then of course on that far right, you got a pair of forward and back buttons to control that audio. Now this is the Stanmore here, the larger of the two, and because it's a little bit larger, it does have an extra pair of inputs along the back. Two RCA options, so you could connect this up to your television and use it that way, though it is going to be a little too tall to sit in front of most televisions. Looking for something a little bit smaller, we've got the Acton. Now the multi-room Acton is pretty similar to the normal Bluetooth version of it. You have the logo again on the front and it looks pretty much the same as the Big Brother, except for on the back, it lacks those RCA inputs. So you're left with everything else except RCA options. Now while these things definitely ooze that vintage vibe, everything on the inside is all about connectivity. There are tons of options to let you play music pretty much any way that you like. A lot of that can be controlled from the Marshall multi-room app. Right away, you're able to toggle between single and multi-room mode. So depending on if you want to listen to them by themselves or as part of a larger configuration, you can do that here. And now all this is pretty much based off of Chromecast. So you do need the Google Home app to get these things all set up. Once they are set up and in this app though, they'll be connected to the Wi-Fi and you can set up a bunch of personalization options, including browsing internet radio, connecting with Spotify using Chromecast or AirPlay. And then you can assign things like Spotify or radio stations or even podcasts to any of these seven presets. Makes it really easy to work directly on the speaker itself instead of having to rely on a device at all. That's actually one of Marshall's biggest selling points is they want to get you off your phone. They want you to be able to experience that music and control it just through the speaker and not have to worry about having that phone in your hand the whole time. These guys all work with AirPlay, but at least right now, they don't support AirPlay 2. So you can only connect to one of them at a time using AirPlay. You can see we have the Marshall Acton and the Marshall Stanmore showing up here in my AirPlay devices. I can then go ahead and choose one of those and play a song. For what it's worth, audio streamed through AirPlay is far better than audio that was streamed over Bluetooth. AirPlay 2 though has a lot of other benefits than just doing multi-room audio. AirPlay 2 has a bigger buffer, which helps reduce drops in the audio, and it allows AirPlay 2 speakers to work with HomeKit. They can actually show in the Home app. You can control them via Siri and control Apple Music playback through Siri. Luckily, their multi-room option does work well, even though it lacks all the other benefits of AirPlay 2. When you go ahead into the Marshall app and you move your speakers over to multi instead of single and you open up that AirPlay menu, you'll notice right away the individual speakers disappear and the multi option is there instead. Using the toggle directly on the speaker, you can jump over to multi, play your music from any of the presets and never have to use your phone. As soon as in multi mode, they'll automatically all sync up and play the same music. It works well, it sounds really good, though we did notice a couple times that audio would occasionally drop out from one of the speakers, just drop for half a second and then pop back up. Didn't happen frequently, but it happened a couple times during all of our testing. All this new connectivity is fine, but it really doesn't matter if the speakers suck. And luckily that is not the case here. 
Marshall has always been known for their awesome audio quality, and that really shows here. Even though it's best probably for more rock-based music instead of something like rap or anything that's exceptionally bass-heavy. When streaming over Bluetooth, audio was more compressed, and you could definitely tell. It lacked a lot of the depth that we really, really wanted. Of course, when we switched over to Wi-Fi using Spotify Connect or AirPlay, it sounded a whole lot better. It was much more fuller and a lot more bass going on. Especially when listening to rock tracks, you really notice the details coming out in the vocals and the string instruments. Volume-wise, these things did amazing. They were far too loud than we could ever need inside our house. And even on those upper levels, we still never heard any distortion. We did notice that the actual physical knobs that adjusted things like the bass and the treble really weren't that drastic. They really just allowed you to kind of fine tune it to your taste without really changing the balance of the music. This is good because it shows Marshall's confidence in their very precise sound. We loved both the Marshall Acton and the Marshall Stanmore, though the Stanmore obviously had a whole lot more volume than the smaller mini-sized Acton did. We still cross our fingers that Marshall will eventually add AirPlay 2, but at least at the moment they still have their own multi-room setup. If you've got any questions or want to pick up a pair for yourself, you can find links below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.